Hello there. Welcome again to my YouTube channel. So I was going through some problems, so I came across a fairly easy problem which included stacks. So I decided why not to make a video on it. So the question was, we need to, there's a list obviously, and we have to find the minimum element of the list. But we need to do it in constant time. So let me just explain. Let's say we have a list, right? And we need to find the least element in that list. What we'll usually do would be the brute force method. That is, we'll traverse the entire list, we'll visit each and ele each element of the list and we'll store its value. So, and we'll compare it. So whatever, whichever element is the least one, we'll return it. But this solution will take off n time complexity, right? So the trick is we need to do it in a constant amount of time. We can do this by using stacks. As we all know that stacks are nothing but a special type of list which contains a lethal property. You know, they contain a last in first out property. So to, so to solve this, we'll use an auxiliary stack that maintains the minimum of all values in the stack. So there will be a main list, there will be a main stack, and there will be an auxiliary stack, right, which we'll create. We'll also assume that each element of the stack is less than its below element. In the min stack, we'll assume that each element of this stack is less than its below elements. So the topmost element will be the least one. That is the trick. So for simplicity, let us call the auxiliary stack min stack. When we pop the main stack, we pop the min stack too. When we push the main stack, we push either the new element or the current minimum, whichever is lower. This is a trick. At any point, if we want to get the minimum, then we just need to return the top element from the min stack. Let us take an example and trace it out. Initially, let us assume that we have pushed two, uh, let me see this. Yeah, two, four, six, one, five onto the stack. So this will contain, this will make us, this will form the main stack. Based on the trick or the algorithm that I mentioned above, the main stack will look something like this, right? So as you can see, the topmost element is the least element. So this is the trick. So fairly easy, right? So let me just code it for you. First, we'll create a class called smart stack because yeah, it's a smart stack. Then I'll define a, a constructor which will have two lists, stack and min. Stack is the main list and min is the auxiliary list. Then I'll create a method called a stack min, which will return the last element in the min stack, in the min list, I'm sorry. That means the topmost element in the auxiliary stack. I hope it doesn't confuse you. Yeah. Then I'll define a, a stack pop method, which will return which will return the the uh, the last element in the main stack. As you can see, x equals self dot stack dot pop. So and then we'll return that this uh, x. So x is nothing but the last element in the uh, in the in the main stack. So while pushing. We'll, uh, we'll, uh, I'll create another method called stack push, which will uh, take an input, which will take an item as a parameter. So the trick here is, obviously I'll first append it to the main stack. That is, I'll add it to the stack. The condition that I have to keep in mind is, if this item is not in minimum stack, or if the item is less than any other element in the main stack, I'll append it to the main stack. That is, this new element, this new item, which is lower than all other values in the main stack, will come at the top of the main stack. And if, or else, I'll simply append it, or uh, append the main stack with the last element of the main stack. That is, which was earlier which was the earlier one, for, for, for example, let's say I'm talking about five, right? 
So when I'm adding five, I know that this is less than one. So this can this comes under the else condition, and I will not append five onto the main stack. Rather, I'll append the last element in the main stack. That is one. So this is a solution. To spare some time, I just uh, I pre-coded the main function. So this is it, and the output will be one. Finish. The time complexity is O of 1, but unfortunately the space complexity is O of n, too, because we created an auxiliary stack. So that was it. If you've liked the video, I suggest to please um, hit the like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Till next time, cheerio!